RSDSA is a vibrant not-for-profit organization dedicated to promoting greater awareness of this underdiagnosed and underrecognized syndrome. We also are dedicated to improving treatment and also hopefully a cure. When my son developed CRPS, I really wasn't sure what to do. I'd never even heard of the illness before that. Um, I'm a trained neuroscientist. I do brain research for a living, but I'd never heard of it. Through RSDSA, I connected with Dr. Mark Cooper, who's a neuroscientist at the University of Washington, who also has a child with CRPS. So here we were, two brain researchers together, both with children with CRPS, both wondering what we could do to uh, help to diagnose and, and treat this illness. A complex regional pain syndrome, by its definition, is not an easy condition to treat. I think the word complex means, I think it's more on how complex it is to uh, diagnose it, and then even more complex in, as to how to treat it. I have to say in the last two or three years, I have learned more about CRPS than I've learned in the last 10 years. Um, more from, from our last conference in Chicago and from this particular conference in New Mexico. RSDSA is special because they're bringing together scientists from all over the world to develop novel devices and therapeutics to control and treat pain. Well, I think bringing all these people together with no hidden agenda, just uh, trying to do the right thing and make good things happen is a fantastic process. And I think the spirit of this uh, uh, conference has been uh, r remarkable. People are really interested. Uh, I think the best information has been brought here uh, by patients, physicians, and, and, and neuroscientists. And I think the format of this um, conference in a, in a very relaxed uh, um, setting uh, here in New Mexico uh, has also afforded um, a process of interaction. It's all about making good happen. The conference to me is so exciting because 12 years ago when I was diagnosed there wasn't this research happening and now it's moving forward and it's exciting because I feel like people that are diagnosed now will have a better chance of recovering and be able to lead normal lives and people like me who have had it for a while will have new advances in therapy and things that can help me too. So I think it's great that RSD has brought all these people together and there's a positive coming out of a negative. <laughs> so this is the second time that I'm participating in a meeting by the RSDSA and it's a meeting that I didn't have to think twice but this particular meeting is always of interest to me because it allows out-of-the-box thinking and it's out-of-the-box thinking because what initiates that meeting are patients who have come together to address an issue that is out of the box. It isn't within what medical doctors recognize easily as a condition or yet alone be able to treat it very easily. So that meeting brings together usually a relatively small number of absolutely leading scientists. What I've already realized, the progress between the first meeting and the second meeting is enormous because we are now starting to evolve a new language, a language that patients speak, of patients that scientists speak, and that also will be understandable by the healthcare providers. And that's very important. And I think this is where, again, having patients and scientists coming together, we have opportunities that we would not have if we would be, if we remained stuck in our silos. It's really great that RSDSA is leading the front on bringing everybody together. Without RSDSA leading the way, I don't know who would be able to step up and, and have the resources to do what is needing to be done. We're hosting conferences, but we do more than just research and fund research. What we do best, I think, is reach out to patients. And, and I don't even like the word patients that much. We, we like to say people who have CRPS or RSD. Um, we do it in a, in a myriad of ways. If you call the office with a problem, we will try to find a way to fix it. People call our office all the time that are in dire, dire straits, that sometimes they just want somebody to listen to them. We're like the little engine that could. 
RSDSA is an amazing organization. Without it, I, I don't know what we would have done. And it, it just does a, a wonderful job of bringing people together to share knowledge with the ultimate goal of, of reducing pain in people that we love. So these conferences absolutely get us to where we need to go. It, without these intimate conferences, without being able to come together all over the world, scientists and clinicians, we wouldn't be able to take the next steps because new ideas are developing, new connections, therefore new therapies. To see actually where your money's going gives you more of a reason to invest. And you see that the money that you work hard to raise for a disease that so many people know so little about, that all of these other people are fighting for you, you know, when you don't, when you don't even know it. And I have no doubt that uh, this is the beginning of greater things. There's definite hope. We have to have, and we, but we do have it, it's there. So please join us, we really need you. Every dollar you give makes a big difference. We're a small organization, but we do a lot with everything we have.